Hi, and welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about bodices. These are different ones that I wear for the Ren Fair and just have in my collection. So we're gonna go from the cheapest option to the most expensive. I've got four different ones to talk about and they're all really, really different and I love them all for different reasons. I'm gonna talk about them all individually and show them all styled a very similar way. So let's get started with the cheapest. Starting off with my cheap boy. This is from Windsor. I got it at my local mall and it is really cute. I love the little inset rhinestones and you can also see the plastic boning that is on the back of this corset. It is only a zipper and I got a size small, but I really do love this. And for $7, are you kidding me? This is gonna be perfect for different fairy looks that I wanna do or just like wearing out and about. I got really lucky that they had my size, honestly, because there were only like two or three of these left on the clearance rack. So always check those clearance racks. And yeah, it's not the best like pleathery material. You can see on the inside, it does have a good lining though, because this is like considered prom wear as well, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I really love this piece. I think for $7, it is totally worth it, even if it's not the best, as long as you take care of it and make sure that it's hung up properly and you're not absolutely abusing it, this will last you a long freaking time. All right, so I decided instead of styling full outfits, I'm just gonna show you how they look on the same dress. This is actually a dress that I just did a video on, and if you wanna see more about that, there will be a link in the description, but this is just a basic Ren Faire slash pirate slash like whatever you wanna be base dress. And here is the pink bodice on. So I'm going to say this straight up. If you can, get somebody else to help you when putting any bodice or corset on. It'll be a better experience and you won't accidentally punch yourself in the face. But yeah, this is how it looks. I will say I find this to be absolutely flattering. I really like the length of the straps on me specifically. It's not riding up too much. I got room and it moves with my body instead of against it. The boning is really, really well done actually for such a cheap piece. However, I wish there was boning on these sides because you can already tell it bunches up just a little bit. The back, however, is pretty solid. I do really like the zipper. Obviously, if it was a corset back, it would be cooler, but you get what you get. And yeah, I think this is a great piece. And I am so happy I bought it because it's pretty cute. I wouldn't wear it with this specifically for the fair, but I would make it into like a fairy fay kind of vibe with a different color base. Moving on to the second tier in price, we've got my $30 corset that I got at an anime con. Again, always check the random racks. This only says current mood in it. I don't believe that was from like the actual vendor like spot. But, you know, it was really cute. I believe it's a size medium or large. It doesn't have any boning in it at all, but this like front floral piece is really, really well done. You can see all that stitching is really nice and solid. I did also wear this to the Ren Fair and I had absolutely no issues at all. It does have a lace up piece and these sides are adjustable, which I really do like. I don't know how much this is originally, but getting it for $30 seems absolutely awesome. I really do love that it has a zipper on the side as well as the corset like lace up so that it can be fully like fitted to my chest and look like really slim and sleek if I want it. But obviously it is not the best quality because it is still that pleather, but I really like it. I think for $30, it is super duper nice. No boning, but again, you get what you pay for. All right, here is the $30 bodice. So this is very difficult to get on by yourself, but I think I did a decent job. I definitely still have room back here. However, since there's no boning, I don't wanna cinch it in super duper tight because I'm afraid it might mess up with the material or just be uncomfortable and not healthy for longevity. So I went with a little bit of a looser definition. These I strapped up all the way just because like, I think it looks better like that. However, you can loosen it up or you can even remove them completely if you want, which I really like having that kind of option. It is a totally different layout cut here and it doesn't have that little bit there. So this part has already rolled up a couple times on me. 
but you can fix that by pinning it or adding boning yourself if you did want to upgrade this piece. I think it is really, really cute. The embroidery is still some of my favorite stuff on it, and I do love that it is on the sleeves as well. And like I said, I got it at an anime con, but the tag says current mood, and I'm not really sure where that's from. But yeah, I really love this piece. It's also like able to be its own like item. You don't have to wear something under it. However, with any corset or bodice, you're supposed to just to protect yourself and the actual piece. But yeah, here is the lower mid-range bodice. This is another mid-range bodice piece. I actually got this second hand off the of Facebook market. It came with a, an entire like Ren Faire outfit. However, the owner could not tell me where this bodice piece came from, which is a little upsetting, but eventually I'll find out. So this has two lace up parts. It's got the back and then the front. The front I did have to replace the lacing with just because this was the original and it is flimsy and it literally broke as I was trying to put it on. This also has no boning, but it does have this nice like brown velvet material on the inside if you take a little look. Really cool and plus that pattern is gorgeous. Absolutely love the mustard yellow and everything on it. I really, really wish I knew more about this piece, but I just couldn't find anything similar at the Ren Fair this year. So if y'all have any idea on where this gorgeous piece came from, please let me know. The person that sold it to me said that it was a small medium sizing, which for these specifically, it's okay if it doesn't lace up 100% in the front, just because it doesn't have to. It's part of the like look and style of it. So I think for like 50 bucks for this and an underskirt and an overdress, 100% slay. I love it. It's so cool. All right, here is the top mid-range bodice. Like I said, I got this one off Facebook Market and I love this one. Again, it doesn't have boning, but it is just such a sturdy material. I feel so secure in this. I've got range of movement. I could probably run in this, but I'm not gonna because I'm out of breath from putting it on. And with that note, you do have to completely remove this front lace every single time you take it on and off just because there is no other way to get in and out of it. Like, I guess you could loosen it up as much as you want, but I tried, didn't work for me. I do really love how thick these straps are. I think it adds a lot to the look and a lot of support here for my girls. And you're not supposed to wear bras with the upper class ones of these, just because it's supposed to give you that support here and allow for it to be fully like free, which I do really like. I like that you don't have to like wear and add extra undergarments. However, like I said with the last pieces, you are supposed to wear something, even if it's just a shirt or a peasant dress underneath, to protect the actual material and yourself. So with that in mind, I absolutely love this piece and I still can't believe I got this thing for like 50 bucks. It's so dang cute. And coming in at the most expensive is my most recent bodice. This is from Pen Dragons Costumes at the Renaissance Fair. I absolutely love this. I got a size small. And this is a one of a kind like combo. The embroidered shoulders and embroidered like chest panel were a set that I got to pick out. All of this lacing is completely adjustable as well. And there is a piece of boning in this front panel, which goes down a little bit past my belly button. And I think it is so freaking flattering. With this suede material, you do have to have specialized brushes to be able to brush it out. And you can't really get this like, fully washed unless you take it to the dry cleaner, but most people just spray these kind of bodice pieces down with a vodka water mix, and that's what most people do for corsets on wear. And yeah, I absolutely love it. The more you wear it, the more it fits to you, and with these parts being interchangeable, I absolutely love it. I think this is so cool. Here is the top tier corset. I'm gonna be honest, I could not get this on, and I don't have anyone to help me. So it's only laced up like three pegs just because there's literally no other way to like put this on and lace it up effectively. It sucks, but it's the reality of it. I'm going to insert images of how it looks on here so that you can see it fully tightened. But just to break down the different aspects of it, all of this, like I said before, is adjustable. The straps are adjustable. These parts are interchangeable, which is awesome. 
and it has a longer little front piece that angles more into the belly button and has that metal piece right here. This is the only one with a steel bone in it and fully adjustable like aspects, which I really, really love. Again, I'm sorry I couldn't lace it all up on my own. It's just a really difficult task and I'm not double jointed or anything, so I couldn't do it. But I do absolutely love this one. I love the contrasting colors and I love the one of a kind embroidery combo here. It is just so dang cute. With all of these in mind and showing you off how they look on me, I wouldn't say that any one of them is actually my favorite. I love them all for different reasons. They are all so unique as well. And I feel like I got really lucky scoring the first like three of them in the way that I did. But yeah, you don't need a super fancy one. It's really up to the stylistic choice that you want to wear with your bodices. You can wear them as daily wear, run fair wear, or even incorporate them into your cosplay or D&D games. I absolutely love wearing them. I find myself like more confident and a little bit more sassy in them because it just slims me in a little bit without being so restricting. And yeah, I hope that this helped y'all in your Ren Faire costuming journey and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.